Hello, everybody. How are you today? I'm Karen Barno. Welcome to my Facebook Live. I want to talk to you today about, first of all, the word midlife crisis. This isn't your mother's midlife anymore. Times have changed dramatically from when my mother had, was in midlife to when I'm in midlife. You know, when my mother was in midlife, all the kids, obviously, we were all gone, you know, following our own path, doing our own thing, you know. One lived in a different town and I lived across the country. But, you know, as soon as my dad retired, and he retired young, he retired when he was about 57, 58, they took off, they traveled, and they did all this stuff. Neither one really had a crisis, but she never really followed her path. You know, when I was a freshman in high school, I was the youngest. When I was a freshman in high school, she went back to work. And she really loved working. She loved the recognition she got. She was a um, um, executive secretary and was really good at it. She loved it. But when, as soon as my dad retired, she thought, you know, because she was younger, she figured she'd still be working for four or five years after he did. But he took early retirement. And he's like, let's go, we're done. And so she was done. But that isn't how midlife is anymore. I'm not even sure where midlife is. Is it 40? Is it 50? Is it 60? Is it 70? Is it 80? I mean, today's, what is it? Today's 40 was yesterday's 50 and today's 40 or whatever. I mean, we've, everything's pushed back because our life expectancy goes longer and we have more freedom. Women have many more freedoms than we had growing up. I, I mean, I can remember when my job choices were so limited because most of the good jobs were filled by the men. And so do we really have crisis now? Or when we get to midlife, when we get to our 40s and 50s, we really are able, because in most of the cases our kids are grown or pretty darn close to being grown. I mean, even if you got married in your late 30s and had children in your 40s, by the time you get to 50, 55, you're, you know, they're about 15. And you can start making different decisions. You can start looking around and, and deciding what your choices are. So I don't think of it as a crisis. I think of midlife as opportunity. It is the opportunity to follow your path. It's the opportunity to be who you want to be. I mean, you've made your money, you've had your career. You know, a lot of times we don't pick our careers and careers pick us. But when you get to be 45, 50, you can start looking around and saying, what, what do I want to do? You know, what has all my experience, all my 50 years of experience, all my 60 years of experience, what has it led me to? What is my real expertise? What am I really good at that I can shine the light on the area I'm really good at? Because, you know, I've, I've done the career thing. I've done the track. I, you know, I've done all the steps you're supposed to step. And now it's time to really take care of yourself. So it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to just really sit down and look. I think the problem is, and I don't think it's a crisis, but I think the problem is we spent so many years taking care of the children, taking care of the husband, you know, the wife, the spouse, the significant other, that we never really reflected. But now we can. We don't have to be like our mother who couldn't reflect until she was 60 or 70. I mean, if you want to see people reflecting with regret, go to an assisted living community, go to a nursing home. That building is permeated with it because that generation, our mother's mothers, couldn't make those type of decisions. And you sit down and you talk to them and they're like, you know, I never had a choice. I had to do it, you know, I had to, without realizing it, do what my husband asked me to do because that's what we did. And by the time we realized we, we didn't have to do that, you know, here I sit 70 or 80, and I sit with my granddaughter and listen to all the things she gets to do. That's how this has changed. And when I look at my daughter, who's gonna be 28 in, in about a month, month and a half, I think, holy crap, with 50, 60, 70 gonna look to her. To me, I think it's gonna look that they'll be on their third or fourth career. Because they already now, the millennials are already now choosing. They're making better choices. Oh, well, I shouldn't say better choices. They're making different choices. They're delaying having children. They're a little bit more me-centered, which, you know, I'll have you in a relationship, you know, husband, but it's going to be 50-50. You know, and, and now I'm blessed my relationship with my husband is very 50-50. But I have a lot of friends who isn't because that's just how they're raised until they get the 50, 
60 and they realize, wait a second, this is my turn. And maybe that's what midlife really is. Maybe it's not a crisis. It's maybe we realize it's our turn. It's, it's women waking up and even guys, I'm, I'm not just counting you, you men folk, you guys too. I mean, a lot of you guys out there took jobs as well because you had children, you got married, you had kids, you had to put food on the table, you had to buy, have the house, the private school, the cars, everything. So I'm, I'm not saying you guys are excluded from this, but maybe it, maybe that's what it is. It's more of an opportunity. It's more of a yay. I get, you know, it's my turn. I don't have to worry about putting food on the table. I've got food. I don't have to worry about buying a house. I got a house. I don't have to worry about a car. I got a couple cars. I got more cars than I need. I got more of this. I can go on vacations. You know, I don't have to stay at this hotel. I can stay at that hotel. So what do I want to do? And that's what midlife is. It's you taking the time to say, what do you want to do? What do you really want to do? And go do it. And if you're sitting thinking, well, you know, Karen, I, I don't have all that money. And I'm not saying I have all that money either. But, you know, I, you know, we're just kind of squeaking by, we, you know, our lives. That's okay, too. What do you want to do? Pick what you want to do and start doing it. You know, get a side hustle going. Get, you know, your passion going. If you used to paint when you were 19, start painting now. and See if that still brings you joy. Enjoy your what's next moment. Enjoy your this is it. What do I get to do next moment? And look at the opportunity you have. You know, it's not midlife crisis, it's a midlife opportunity. So look at the opportunities you have to move forward. And look at look back at your mom, and if your mom's still alive, go talk to her. I mean, my mom passed a long time ago. She passed pretty young, as did my dad. But you can, you know, go to your mom and say, you know, what was it like for you? When you turned 50 or 60, what was it like? For them, they're wrapping up. They were, you know, finishing work, they were, getting ready to settle into the retirement years. Go, you know, my parents used to go to, and I'll never understand why, they used to go to Burger King every morning and have a cup of coffee and a biscuit. And I guess it was to get them out of the house. Although they both golfed, they were both active up until, you know, right before they got ill and passed. So I never could get that one. But you know, they settled more into a routine. I don't think we will. I think we're gonna have higher expectations for our 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. I think we're gonna keep busy. I mean, look at Lois Hayes. What was she, 92, 93, 99 when she passed? She didn't start Hay House until she was in her late 50s. That's when she started Hay House. I mean, this is, you've got, I mean, if you're 40, 50 years old, you've got 40, 50 more years to go. It's not like with our parents that they thought, you know, seven, they used to think 80 was old. We look at 80 like spring chickens. I mean, the average age in the assisted living community is 85. That's the average age. When people turn 100, I don't even think um, Al Roker does a happy birthday turning 100 anymore because there's so many people turning 100. So you got a long way to go. So when you get into a midlife opportunity, embrace it. Follow your heart. Do what you want to do. If you want to talk, Go on my website, Midlife Mentoring. I'd be happy to work with you for a couple hours to help you kind of figure out what you really want because that's what scares us, is all of a sudden we can have the world. That, I, I think I'll talk about that in my next video. We'll see. So if you have any questions, everybody, please let me know. Sharing is caring. Please share this with everybody. If you want to sit down for an hour and a half and just kind of chat about you know, what your opportunities are. Like I said, go to my website, karenbarno.com. There's a midlife uh, mentoring program up and I'm offering, as I've said before, my 20 minute free pre-assessment chat, just to see if we jive, just to see if, you know, what I do is what you're looking for. Have a great day, you guys. And here's to grabbing a hold of all your opportunities. Bye-bye.